Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nome is my name. I hope I find you well wherever you are. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. It's a Monday today. And we have what is not entirely good news at all. Especially if you are a Zimbabwean who is based in the diaspora. Uh, especially those that are based in South Africa. Because uh, you'll know that uh, last week we spoke about... Uh, the rolling out of the e-passport and the opening of the new consulate offices uh, in Johannesburg. But now, what we now have been alerted to is uh, a disturbing piece of news around the price of the passports. You will remember that last week we had reported that the price of the passport or that is the e-passport uh, of Zimbabwe in South Africa was uh, 170 Dollars, which is close to 3,400 rands. But now we have been told, we, we got that from the consulate, but you know with the Zimbabwean government that nothing uh, is ever certain because of a number of police inconsistencies that have become part uh, and parcel of their governance. So there are people that are asking us if it is true indeed that the passport has uh, jumped in terms of prices. And they've been given a number of different uh, prizes. Uh, and so this is what we are here to address you about. But before I go ahead, may I please kindly request you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it so that a number of other people who may not be watching us right, us right away or those who may not know about our existence as a channel will also get this kind of information. Uh, now, initially... The Zimbabwean consulate had uh, released a statement saying that the price of the e-passport uh, is $150 plus $20. Uh, that is making it 170 That is the $20 is meant to capture the biometrics and the other stuff that is required when you apply or for a passport. But now, the sad news is that with effect from today, the consulate has raised the price of the passport, that is the e-passport, to 250 US dollars plus the 20 dollars that they spoke about. So I'm going to read a statement from the consulate which was released on the 26th of July. Uh, it says, that was on Friday, it's a public notice, uh, it says, treatment of all e-passport applications in Johannesburg as express." emergency applications. References made to the consulate's public notices on the rollout of the e-passport processing center in Johannesburg. The Ministry of Home Affairs and Cultural Heritage has directed that all e-passport applications that are processed on the, at the consulate in Johannesburg, South Africa, shall be handled as express emergency applications in terms of statutory instrument 1 of 2024. In effect, this means passport application fees for the express or emergency passport shall be US $250 charged at the prevailing US dollar South African Rand exchange rate with effect from Monday 29 July 2024, which is today. Uh, then they put their um, contact details there. So now... What it means is that this is for the processing of the passport, but there is also another $20 on top. So it makes it $270, which is 5,400 uh, rands, plus or minus. So this makes the Zimbabwean passport, if not the most expensive, one of the most expensive, not only in South Africa, or not only in Africa, but also in the world. You will remember that this figure was mooted when at first the e-passport uh, was first spoken about uh, in Johannesburg or in South Africa. But because there was a protest that was made in, uh, at the consulate, they then claimed that they uh, reduced the amount to $170, which was on its own very expensive. So now what this means is that those that are planning to go and protest at the, at the consulate uh, are actually not wrong. They have a reason to do that because most Zimbabweans that are living and working in South Africa 
are earning peanuts. Some of them are even unemployed. They are living from hand to mouth. And now you charge them this. Uh, this is monthly rent for many Zimbabweans that are based in South Africa. And you want to charge. Some of them are even earning less than this. We are talking about here. People who are earning, some of them, 1,500 rents, 3,500 rents, uh, 5,000 rents, 6,000 rents at most. And then you want to uh, charge them this much for a passport. When in Zimbabwe, an ordinary passport is $120. To travel from South Africa to Zimbabwe, you spend less than the remaining uh, 2.8. So at the end of the day, why would a Zimbabwean who's based in South Africa then choose to go to the consulate when they can travel back home, see their relatives, uh, check on their livestock, and then get a passport and then return without losing as much as they would have lost uh, if they applied here in South Africa. So the government is trying to rip people off, but uh, I don't foresee many Zimbabweans going to the consulate to uh, go and apply for this kind of passport because this is a clear uh, matter of people being ripped off by an uncaring government, a government that doesn't uh, even uh, consider how its people are living, that doesn't even care about its own people. Yet, ZANU-PF claims to be a government that cares for Zimbabweans. It claims to be a government that listens to the people. The people protested. They say that this passport fee is uh, is too much. They, it was reduced to 170. Still, it was too much and they were still uh, grumbling. But they were prepared to kind of meet the government halfway. But now, all of a sudden, there is a jump, which is almost by 100% to as much as $250 plus $20. So this is too much. Uh, we hope that Zimbabweans are not going to take this line down because this is a complete ripoff, as I've said. So please uh, continue to engage with us. Send your comments via the comment section underneath this video. Do you agree with this kind of uh, amount that has been charged for, uh, for, for, a, for just a passport which doesn't even come with uh, a, a permit. Are you happy with it? Do you believe there is justification for this? Are you unhappy with it? What do you think should be done? Please use our comment section underneath this video to send us your comments. Or you can WhatsApp me on plus 27 Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.